Well, it's a crappy Monday in Calgary. I've been raining like crazy all morning. Uh, a little chilly out there. Here we are, mid-August. Uh, laundry day. Uh, well, why not do a video? It's, it's one of those days. And uh, that got me thinking about a, a buddy of mine that asked me, you know, what do I do these for? He's really not into technology that much. Uh, and he's not retired yet, so he still has a job to go to every day. And so I looked at him and I said to him, well, what else would I do? I said, I'm in a wheelchair. I don't golf. Uh, I don't jog. I do go out and wheel every now and then, but uh, I said, you know, my, my activities are uh, limited for a number of reasons, which is, which is all right. That's part of the reason why I do this. Uh, I could sit on a couch all day and turn my mind into mush by watching whatever crap is being uh, dribbled out of the TV during the day and uh, I already know what, what some of that is. I could sit here with CBC News World on all day, which <laughs> which at one point I did a lot of, uh, but it's just that just raises my blood pressure so uh, you know couldn't see any reason in doing that. I am a movie buff, but at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and watch TV all day. That's just ridiculous. I got, I'm got i semi-retired. I'm not doing anything. So I might as well do something I enjoy, I enjoy doing. Excuse me. Uh, there's my pita bread and hummus. Uh, and hopefully make something out of it. So, you know, that's that's partly why I do this. So we, we had that little chat, and I'm still not sure um, he fully grasped it, but uh, it, did, it did get me to thinking about a number of other things. Just let me clarify there what I, what I said a couple of seconds ago on get something out of this. My whole life I've always been a very expressive person. I like interacting. I like sharing ideas. I like making people think. Uh, and that, I mean, in my early life, I really made people thought and I wasn't doing it intentionally. There's a difference between doing something to piss someone off and doing something to make someone think. Uh, processes are fairly similar. Uh, it's just the motivation would be a little different. So when I say make something out of this, I mean, this is my chance to be expressive. I'm not as uh, outwardly social as I used to be. Uh, being single and semi-retired, you know, you you spend a lot of time just entertaining yourself. So that's what I meant by get something out of this. Just wanted to make that clear. Of course, a side benefit is uh, that I, you know, I have a and having you to get things off my chest. And I I do enjoy getting things off my chest. I guess the one thing that uh, bothers me more than, than anything else is complacency in people. And I see a lot of complacency happening around here these days. So this is one of the ways for me to be non-complacent. You know, this allows me to get out there and stir the pot a little bit, which is something I've I have a history of. In fact, there was, there was a time in my life when some friends of mine told me that uh, nobody could polarize a room as fast as I could, and I took it as a compliment, because what do I know? Uh, I'm a little bit more mature now, but still, uh, as I said earlier, I want people to think, and this is one way I can do that. So when I mentioned that, you know, in the conversation, we, I went over that as well. So the next thing was, uh, well, why don't you dress up then? And I looked through and I said, When's the last time you saw me in a dress shirt? I said, I do this because I can and I want to be relaxed. That's that's why I do this, is to relax. So this is how, you know, 90% of the time I'm in tank top. When you're wheeling your wheelchair all day, you don't want clothing that's chafing you. That's that's just a little reality of, of clothing. I don't want expensive pants that are being worn away by the wheels on my wheelchair. So I dress casually. Sometimes, like now, 
uh, very casual. So I so said, why would I dress up to do something on the internet that I wouldn't do in my real life? I mean, I will dress appropriately for a job. God, I still got dress pants in my closet that I bought from Moore's Clothing before I left Victoria that still have their tags on them. So, four years I haven't worn them yet. My point is, I don't need to get dressed up. You know, I'm doing this to relax. Uh, I'm not coming and knocking at your door and asking to come into your house. You're watching this on YouTube or whatever you're watching it on. So uh, I'm not imposing myself on you. So why can't I dress casually while I sound off about the things I want to sound off about? So these are a couple of the uh, answers I gave them. Reality is, the way we're beginning to communicate is changing drastically. That's what the internet and that's what social media has done. It's changing the rules of how we talk with each other. It's changing the rules because quite often we're not talking with each other, we're talking at each other. Which is exactly what YouTube is. You came here, you found me. I didn't go looking for you. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, that's great. But I can dress the way I want and say what I want as within social boundaries. I, I do have some respect for social boundaries. But don't expect me to be in a suit and tie. Don't expect me to say things you may necessarily like. But I will guarantee you this. Anything I ever say will always be true. And I'll be able to substantiate it with the information I need. All right. That's it for me today. Actually, the sun is trying to make a break out there. So I may too. Who knows? It's uh, early enough to go for a wheel if the streets are dry enough. So uh, hang in there. Have a good day. It's uh, been... A hoot as usual.